Well, hello, how is everybody? I'll tell you what. Oh, shucks. I just pulled the bracket out of the phone. Uh, oh, you can see I'm sweating already. You know what? I don't have anything to wipe my face with in here. What's up? Woo, it's hot. Look, what can I say? What can I say? All right, let's talk about life and the people. Um, you know what's up with you today? I'm talking about um, going to see my folks today. And um, y'all know where I am, right? I'm in Honolulu, right? But uh, ooh, I'm going to a meeting. That's what I'm going to right now. Got to cut this stuff off. Mm -hmm. no, this way. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to see that. There we go. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to a meeting right now. I think you can see me better that way. You can see me. There you go. You can see me better. But I'm going to a meeting. <sighs> I went to a funeral yesterday. Uh, I came back yesterday. And I'm going to one Friday. And uh, what you don't understand. We can see. Ha! Huh. I don't know. Some people do it though. I'm not one of them. And besides, my car beeps. Yeah, I don't want to talk about bad accidents. I just want to get on this. I have to go up here and make a U-turn. I forgot. Well, I'm going. I gotta make a U-turn. And they always take their time on this stretch of the road. But like I was gonna say, tell your friends, people, how much you love them and how much you care for them and all that. Because, you know, a lot of times, we don't know why, we don't know when the last time we can see each other. Uh, this past, since the, right before New Year's, I lost a friend that I'd known a long time. And my, and, um, I felt so bad for Robin because I lost my mother. My mother was sick only six days, but his mother was sick for a prolonged period of time. And although you can expect some things to happen, you don't always expect it to happen when it when it happens. That's what I'm saying. And it's often hard, and it's um, kind of hard to deal with sometimes. I um, over the weekend. One of my friends was here uh, to visit with me. Well, he wasn't the weekend. He was here uh, Wednesday, I think we went out. Tuesday we went out and we had a good time and I was just on my up, you know, just like being up and being plain Caesar and just enjoying myself and getting ready for everything. And these people driving like they're crazy as hell around here. I'm just trying to get on the highway and um, just trying to be a better person and just be like I am because I love people and uh, this week and one of my friends called me and talked to them all on the phone in the car and um, I woke up to these messages uh, people tell me they passed away and um, I didn't I tried to call couldn't get an answer and I just I didn't call anymore I stopped I know how that is. And I didn't want to call an alert or scare anybody else. So as the day unfolded, and I got a call from people telling me that he uh, had passed away. All three of them had passed away. The car uh, went off of um, an overpass and landed upside down and killed all three of them. And it's a hard thing to talk about because when people are so young and are so full of life like we all are, it's a hard thing to deal with. Especially when you've known each other and have been with each other and party with each other and celebrated with each other. And I even look for them to even be here for my graduation in May. And it's, um, it's hard. It's hard. And then I have friends who have kids uh, who are going through things and I feel for them and I, I know how they feel. And, you know, it's just, 
sometimes the world is not always so nice to us. It's really not. And, you know, it's just a lot of that's going on. And all we need to do every day is to stop and look at each other and see how we all are doing it, to make sure that we all are gonna be okay. That's, that's what we need to do with each other, that's all. And I just want y'all to know, if you don't know it, I didn't tell you yet, my friends, you know, I love you. And my relatives, I love you, I really do. I really do. And I, and I even, even the ones that are, we don't get along, I love you too, and I love you from a distance because I know it's better for us not to be together. I, really, I understand that, and I, I know it now that we don't have to be together. I'm serious. It goes, it's a long story. You know, you have some people who are your relatives and some people who say they're your friends. And some of your your friends and so-called relatives, they can do you in. They can do a number on you. Talk about you real bad behind your back. I mean, bad. And talk bad to you about people who, may, who know you or people who should know you better. And sometimes they buy into that garbage. And you know, sometimes you come to, when you when you get to a point in your life, when you figure out who they are, and you figure out what they have done, I used to be the person I wanted to call, and I had to tell you about yourself. I had to get in, get in your face and tell you about yourself. But you know what? I don't need to do that. I don't need to get myself excited and ugly or nothing. Because you know what? When I look at it at the end of the day, those people, they don't mean me any good, and they, didn't or don't contribute anything to my life right now. And they don't. And in a lot of cases, I don't even want to be bothered with them. You know, because sometimes there's some things that are very um, common sense. And that's one thing that you don't find very much and very often in people these days is common sense. And they don't even do what they're supposed to do for a family member when somebody's ill or sick. And I think it's just stupid. I really do. I, I really do. And I have a problem with it. But it's okay. Because I'm close enough with enough of other relatives, they call and let me know what's going on anyway. But it's just it's just stupid. And you know, get your mind right. You know, you do all this stuff and talking about folks. And doing people in, you know, Mercedes can move. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, cause here they baby, let me tell you, they don't have uh, really too many. Uh, when you get on, you're getting on into the lane. It's no get on and, and exit. You get in and you get off. Anyway, <laughs> sorry I heard that going like that. But anyway, it's you know you have to you think about that and you and you see how people are. And you know sometimes you have to overlook them because you know, they can make you go to a place that you really don't need to go. But you learn, you know, you know what I learned? My mother taught me, she said, no matter who these people, your relatives are, you're supposed to always, God, dog, that was mine, I could have turned up there, I'm gonna turn up there. You can always supposed to love those people unconditionally. Always love them unconditionally because they'll always be your relative. But you know, when my mother passed away, I figured out some of them bastards ain't worth the time of day. And some of them, your mama should have swallowed them. I'm telling you, before they were born. I ain't lying to you, I'm just gonna give you the God loving, nice truth. Nice but nasty truth. I'm just saying because it's the truth. Some of that stuff is not necessary. It's really not. And I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And it's just the way life is. So while I'm here trying to go and take care of my business off, Caesar Jr. can be a flow. Be okay. I'm going over here to see what I can do about my money. And then I'm going to be okay. And um, I just want y'all to be okay. And I want all my friends to be married. I'm praying for you, baby. I'm praying for you. And you know, everything is going to be all right. It really is. It's going to be all right. All we need to do, I got to get over because that's closed. All we need to do is know that it's going to be all right. And God has your back. And he's looking out for all of his kids. For all of us, he's looking out for us. And I like that. I love that. So, that being said, I'm going to go to my meeting. And I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.